Chào các bạn. Hello from V for You. Today we will talk about three crazy mistakes that every Vietnamese learner makes but get no corrections from Vietnamese because they think it's very sensitive to talk about this. But wow, I think it's even more important to talk about that, right? Because you don't want to make Vietnamese people laugh when you speak Vietnamese. So to say make money and you combine make, làm and money, tiền and you think about the word làm tiền, it actually means make money as a prostitute. Hmm, we will get back to this soon and we will find a way how to correct all of them. But let's start with this question. Why do you often make those mistakes? The reason is because you think in English and then you combine the words in English and then you speak Vietnamese in that way. But it's more important that you have to think in the way that Vietnamese people think. And in order to do that, you need to listen to natural and authentic conversations of Vietnamese. At v for You, we really love to support you to bring more natural conversations of Vietnamese in real life situation through audio lessons. So you can check the description box below for 100 audio lessons with more than 2,000 flashcards for Vietnamese vocabulary and grammar of different levels with audio attached for pronunciation and spelling. And this time, we also give you a gift of a bilingual book about Vietnamese culture shock with Vietnamese audio included. And you will get a free 90-minute lesson from V4U Father. Check this link below because you will get 50% discount this time and we hope that you will listen to all audio and know that sometimes all you have to do is to say the fixed phrases without any explanations and don't try to combine the words in English but say the fixed phrases in Vietnamese. So now let's get back to the three mistakes. So the first one, so you say làm ra tiền, làm ra tiền, which means make money, or you also can say earn money, kiếm tiền, kiếm tiền. The second one, you shouldn't just come by lên and ding. The problem here is that lên shouldn't stand right next to the word ding, so you just need to add a word there, the word lên đến, climb up to the top of a mountain, trèo lên đến đỉnh núi, or lên đến đỉnh núi. If you want to be very clear, you put the word núi there, so people don't have any picture in their mind about any other things. Trèo lên đến đỉnh núi, or lên đến đỉnh núi. And the last one, be in a relationship with somebody. You should say the full word relationship, mối quan hệ. So you say, có một mối quan hệ với somebody. Có một mối quan hệ với somebody. Because quan hệ as a verb, it is a shortened way to say this phrase. If you just say quan hệ với somebody, of course people will think about Another meaning, right? If you want to avoid that, never say the word quan hệ với like this, but say the whole structure. Có một mối quan hệ với? Có một mối quan hệ với? I hope that this video is helpful and if we want to see more videos like that, please click subscribe. If you want to see the preview of the bilingual book about Vietnamese culture shock, with Vietnamese audio included, please check out the description box below and don't forget to check out our audio lessons for elementary and intermediate levels with 50% discount. Thank you for watching. Cảm ơn các bạn and see you in the next video.